Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a turtle cake topper. So this is one from one of my Facebook lives last week. So we do a Facebook live each Tuesday morning over on my Facebook page, 10.30am um, UK time. Now, if you enjoy the video guys, don't forget to click like and subscribe so you can get notified each time I add a new video. Now we're going to be making this guy with some Saracino modeling paste. So I've mixed a bit of brown and the light green together for this one. And I'll try and put the weights up of how much I've used on screen. But of course, you can use whatever weight you want. If you want to go bigger or smaller, then you can change the weights accordingly. So we want like half a ball of paste. And I'm going to pinch around the edge just a little bit. So we get this shell with a little ridge around the edge just here. You can see I made some turtle body parts earlier as well that I wanted to set. So I'm going to start by putting a little neck hole in. So the head will slot into this area here. So that's the flat side of the shell will be like the underneath of it. I'm just nudging it up a little bit so there's space for the neck kind of to go in there and not get caught on the shell too much. I want four smaller holes where the legs or flippers or fins, I'm not sure what they are on a, on a uh, turtle. Let's go with flippers. Um, sit. And then I've just put a small one at the end for a little turtle tail. So I'm going to put a line around the bottom to start to create some marks for the shell. So I'm just using my plastic dresden tool here. And guys, I've put links to everything that I'm going to use in the video. And I do sell most of the products in my shop. Um, and you can find the links below should you want to use the same things that I'm using. But you can use other tools if you prefer. So we've gone around the edge and then we're going to mark some bits in the top. And you can use a guide of a real sea turtle if you want. So I was looking at proper pictures on my phone of actual sea turtles. But obviously mine doesn't look anything like that when it's finished. We're going for cartoony, but it just helps me a little bit with what what the markings and things should look like. Okay, so we've gone for the light green paste for the head. And we start with like a ball and we roll a pinch a bit of a neck into it. And then we try and create like a bit of a point at the front of the face, only like a tiny bit of a point, not too much. And kind of flatten underneath it where the chin's gonna be. Hopefully you can see the shape we're aiming for here. And I'm just gonna press in a little bit there where I want the eyes to go. And guys, if you want a more detailed version, the Facebook Live video that we did do is actually still available to watch over on my Facebook page. Um, it's just always fancy cakes over on Facebook. But you'll be able to watch it in real time if you want. This is a, just a slightly sped up version for you guys now. So I'm gonna put eye sockets in. So just a big kind of oval shape, just using my plastic balling tool. I'm just lifting it a bit above the eye socket on each side. You want to try and get each side in the same place. I think one of mine's slightly higher or lower than the other one. Okay, so we've drawn a little sort of line in for the mouth. I'm just going to press in at the end of the mouth, sort of turning it up at the edge so it looks a bit more smiley. And then we're just going to mark a bit across sort of the nose area. Do little nostrils up there. Let's put some little lines in. Just along the top edge of the mouth there like that. Okay, let's do its fins. Or flappers, flippers, flippers, the flippers, right? <laughs> I think. Okay, so start with a teardrop for each one. The back ones are going to be much smaller than the front ones as well, guys. Flattening them down a little bit. Then we're going to kind of play around with the shape a little bit to get them where we want. So I'm going to try and curve it a little bit at that edge. Flatten that bit there. Now you might find you can stick them straight onto your shell. Um. But if you're not sure exactly what position you want them to sit in, you can always just stick part of a cocktail stick or toothpick. I realise I call them cocktail sticks. I think the toothpicks are in, in some countries. Um, so I'm just going to push that in there. Okay, now when I've added this, obviously if you are going to give this topper to somebody to eat, it's really important that you tell them that those sticks are in there because you don't really want to be eating something that's got the cocktail sticks in. But I'll give them a bit of time to firm up before we actually press them in place. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the front ones, but the front ones are going to be a bit bigger. So teardrop, flatten it, and then we're going to kind of bend it a little bit. It almost looks like the end of a golf club. It does to me anyway. I don't actually play golf, so it might not really look like the end of a golf club. But then you're going to thin it out a little bit more. Can you see on the underside? Just kind of pinching it flatter with my fingers, pulling it out a little bit. If you do these too big, too thick, uh, the weight will pull them off the body. So we want them to be fairly thin so that they're nice and lightweight. I've added a cocktail stick into each one again. And can you see it's quite thin where it's going to attach to the body? Otherwise it won't fit in those holes that we've made. And I'm just going to put a little bit of colour dust 
on here. So we're going to blush the cheeks a little bit. So it's an edible palette is the one that I've got. Um, I'm going to put links below the video, guys. I do sell most of these products in my shop, but the links are below should you want to have a look at them. So it's an edible palette, this one. You can use the loose powder dust. You don't have to use the one in a palette. And I've gone for a pink colour. And I think this one we're going to do it a base to sit on now. You can use solid paste if you want. Um, but I think I'm going to use polystyrene ball in the middle. So I've cut my polystyrene ball. So it means now that you're not going to be able to eat this one. And if you put it on top of a cake, it's really important that there's something that goes between the polystyrene and your cake. Because you don't want the naked polystyrene touching anything that's going to be eaten at all. So we're just putting some balls of paste on. I'm still using modeling paste. If you want to swap and use fondant for this, you could do. And I'm just using this tool. Now, guys, I have actually forgotten the name of the tool, but I'll link it below the, the video anyway so that you can see which tool it is. Um, it just puts that, that, that little star shape in the middle. And I'm just going to do that all over. Then we're going to go back to our turtle's body. And we're just adding some little sausage shapes across the middle just to fill it out so the belly kind of sticks out a little bit more. And I'm going to add some edible powder. So I'm going to go for a bit of brown on here. Just using my Sylvia Mancini brush for this one. I do like these brushes a lot. Guys, if you don't want to add the colour, you don't have to add the coloured powder to it. It's absolutely fine. So I've pushed that onto my coral. I realise I didn't show you in the video. Sorry, guys. I've pushed it against the little sort of half sphere of coral there on the base. I've actually got a cocktail stick that runs through the body into the base to hold it firmly in place. And then I'm going to fill the eye sockets with some white modelling paste. Then we're going to use some black that we've rolled really thinly. And I'm going to cut an oval of black for each eye. And we're going to push it into there like that. I've got an edible pen this time. I'm just going to put a bit of green and also a little bit of brown as well, just around that very edge. And you can use a slightly damp brush to blend the two colours together. You could just use food colouring as well if you prefer not to use the edible pens. Let's use a white edible pen now to put like a little highlight in the eye. And then we'll roll a tiny, tiny oval of white for each eye now. Another little highlight, this time a bit bigger. Just press it firmly in place. Nice and flat. We don't want it to stick out too much from the eye. Okay, so the head is going to be pushed onto a little wooden skewer through the body. Now, because of the weight, until it's dried and set in place, I'm going to have to put something under there to support it. So I've just got um, some corn flour in a little bag, and I'm just going to push that under the head until it's had a chance to set, guys. I'm going to push my flippers in as well. Now, do stick a bit of edible glue or water on the end of the flipper or the end of the neck, the bits that are going to come into contact with its shell, so that once it has set, it's going to dry and stay firmly in place. So because they're moving around a little bit, we're going to just put those... I've just got some piping nozzles. You can use whatever you, whatever you find to hand to rest it, but I had these two piping nozzles to hand, so they're going to just sit under the flippers there just till it sets. And let's just push a little piece in for the tail at that bottom end there. Now, because I did this in a Facebook Live, guys, I had to add the colour while it was all still a bit wet and a bit soft. But if you're making this yourselves at home, you can give it plenty of time to set before putting this powder on. So this is the edible brown powder again that I'm using. Just adding a bit around the shell just to give it a bit more colour, a bit more depth. Again, you don't have to. I'm also going to put some brown little patches on its little flippers as well as the shell. So just using a large brush just to dust off any extra sort of bits of powder that are dropping on it that I might not want there. I'm going to go a bit darker just on the end of its nose area or mouth. Is it classed as its nose? I'm not sure. You guys can just let me know what the actual like, body parts of the turtle are called that I usually get wrong. Now, because this one's now drying, when I am adding the patches to it, I really want to let it have set. So I'm just showing you on another pair of flippers that I'd made before where I'm kind of adding the, the brown dots. Just because it is very soft, this one. I'm going to try and add some to the head just to show you. And if you prefer, you could even stick these on with brown paste. So if you don't like to use the powder because it does kind of drop everywhere, you can roll tiny balls of brown paste and just press them on so that they go reasonably flat against the turtle's head and flippers. And this is the one that I did earlier. So I just wanted to show you like playing around that, you know, maybe you could put them in different positions. So this one could sit sort of upwards. So it's on its back. I've dropped powder on everything. <laughs> it's fine. We'll sort that out later. So I'm just going to let that now set, guys. So here it is all finished. So I did leave this resting overnight on those um, little piping nozzles before I removed them. 
if you have a go at making this guys i'd love to see what you make i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more of our videos each week thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below you can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now if you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials there are also links in the description box below where you can find me on facebook instagram and more